Personally, I agree with Sam Houston. I say we have to fight for our rights. Well, I disagree. We've gotten along all right as a free state under the Mexican Republic for years. I see no reason to fight. Now, you've overlooked one thing, Jim. Although the Spanish gave us the right of colonization in 1821, when Santa Ana seized control of the presidency, we ceased to be a free state. Now, we can either fight or face the prospect of a government by military authority. General right? Houston. Gentlemen, I'll get to the point. I have been commissioned to recruit an army for the defense of Texas as an independent republic. Many of you are already well acquainted with the difficulties implicit to such an undertaking. The others of you soon will be. If victory is to be ours in the coming struggle, we must have every able-bodied man in Texas under arms. Well, in the absence of any active fighting, Sam, it's, it's become increasingly difficult to convince the people of their danger. The men are reluctant to leave their families and farms. That is why I called you gentlemen together. I have just received a dispatch that General Santa Ana has occupied San Antonio. Colonel Travis, with less than 200 men, has withdrawn across the river to the Alamo to prepare for its defense. At this moment, that is the only military force between the Mexican army and the Sabine River. And those men need help. How do you feel, Jim? I feel better if somebody moved me out on that wall. Never get any shooting done in here. Don't be too sure of that. There's a lot of them left out there. Some of them might even pay you a visit. Just bring them in. Me and Mr. Boy's already for them. I don't think we'll have to bring them in, Sam. It looks as though they intend to come in on their own. No word from Houston? Not yet. You figure the messenger got through? I hope so. Sam's a good man. He'll send some boys down to help us. He'd better send them pretty quick. There's no use to fret, Bill. You can always run out if things get too tough. Nah, you aren't planning on leaving, are you, Jim? No, I guess not. I don't figure I could run very good. I don't run good either, Jim. Colonel Travis! Colonel Travis! Yes? There's a Mexican out there riding under a white flag. Says he wants to talk to you. Exigen que se rinden inmediatamente. El general espera su contestación. What did you say, Colonel? He just said if we don't walk out of here right now with our hands in the air, we won't walk out at all. What are you going to tell him, sir? Is this cannon loaded? Yes, sir.
This is driving me crazy. First they spend a couple hours blowing the place apart, then you have to sit around for a couple hours and there ain't a sound. You don't figure they're running out of ammunition, do you? Why don't you stick your head over the side and find out? I ain't that curious. I ain't had no real sleep in four days. How long's a man supposed to stand it? If you get tired over here, why don't you just open the gate and walk out? I've been thinking the biggest mistake I ever made was when I walked in. You had all the way from Tennessee to think it over. If I'd had five more miles to go, I'd probably change my mind. I don't understand that anyway. What are you guys from Tennessee doing way down here? Ain't no war in Tennessee. Seems to me you could have found one near home. Yeah, we're well, always considering starting one, but David Crockett said you Texans need some help. So I come down here to fight. I'm fighting. Still don't know what I'm fighting for. What are you fighting for? I got a ranch up at Oxbow with a wife and kids. There's four or five more of us got a ranch up that way, too. Ain't that right, Stroud? Yeah. Does that answer your question? I got a family of my own in Tennessee. I wish mine was there instead of where they are. Yeah, where's Oxbow located? Up north of here. Well, ain't no Mexicans up that way, is there? No, not that I know of. Well, I don't see what you got to worry about. It's not the Mexicans I'm worried about. We got word that Santa Ana's given out land grants to Texans to fight on his side. Why, you don't think anybody's going to hire out to him, do you? Yeah, no one of them already. Got a lot of followers, too. A fellow named Jess Wade. Well, here we go again. Dispatch from General Houston. Where's your commanding officer? Hey, Lieutenant, what's going on up north? Same thing that's going on here. They started raiding up around Oxbow. Heard what the man said, didn't you? Yeah, I heard him. Come on, let's go. Drow! Gary, come with me. I want to talk to you. Leo. Lieutenant Lamar, sir. I have a message from General Houston. We've been expecting you. How soon will the troops be here? There are no troops. Right now, the general's recruiting a fighting force for the defense of Texas. Maybe days before... Why'd Sam waste his time sending us a message like this? The general asks that you hold the Alamo as long as you can. There's a whole army out there. How long does he think we can keep them back? I don't know, sir. But he feels the longer the Alamo holds, the better his chances are of getting ready for Santa Ana's armies. Dave, most of the men. Just five of us here got families up there in Oxbow. Nobody to take care of them. And one of us don't do it, nobody else will. Now, one man here ain't gonna make any difference, but one man up there could take care of all our women, folk, and kids and get them to a place where they're safe and then come back. How's he gonna get out? The messenger from Houston got in, didn't he? Who's it gonna be? Well, if it's agreeable with all you fellas, I figured we'd draw lots for it. I got a handful of beans here and one of them's black. Whoever draws the black bean goes. Start her off, Johnny? Why not? I have here a dispatch from General Houston. March the 2nd, 1836. On this day, Texas has been declared an independent republic. That's fine, Colonel. But what I want to know is, are we going to get reinforcements or not? We haven't slept in a week. I'm afraid we aren't. General Houston doesn't have an army. He's recruiting one as fast as he can. So if General Santa Ana can be held here for a few days longer, it can mean the difference between life and death for Texas. 
We all know General San An is going to give no quarter. I'm staying here, but anyone else who wants me withdraw. Those who volunteer to stay with me step forward. Would you help me out, Sam? to leave? Mr. Stroud, I assume you have your reasons for leaving. I'll see that you get a horse in a moment. Lieutenant. Men, this is the dispatch I'm sending to General Houston. I am besieged by a thousand or more Mexicans under General Santa Ana. I have sustained a continual bombardment and cannonade. The enemy have demanded a surrender at discretion. Otherwise, the garrison is to be put to the sword, if the fort is taken. The enemy is receiving reinforcements daily and will no doubt increase to three or four thousand in four or five days. I have answered the summons with cannon shot and our flag still waves proudly from the walls. I am determined to sustain myself as long as possible and die like a soldier who never forgets what is due his own honor and that of his country. I shall never surrender or retreat. Victory or death. Lieutenant, see that the general gets our message. Sir, with your permission, I'd like to stay here in that man's place. He's leaving. Why not use him as a messenger? No, you brought Houston's message. You're going to return with ours. Yes, sir. Get Mr. Stroud a horse. Back to your post. Next. I thought I'd live to see the day Johnny Stroud had turned yellow. Who says he has? He's running out, ain't he? Did you ever figure it might take more nerve to leave than to stay? The worst that can happen to you is somebody will say you died a hero. There's a man going to be called a coward the rest of his life. Then why is he leaving? We drew lots for it. Johnny always was unlucky.
I not know it was you. I thought they'd come back. Where's my wife and son? I buried them over there, senor. Beside my father. Senor. I'm going back to the Alamo. A lot of Mexicans are going to pay for this. Senor, it was not Mexicans who did this. It was Americans. Now, you, you and your father have been with my family a long time, Carlos. My wife and my son and I, we, we loved you very much. There's no time now to start lying to protect your people. I'm not lying. They have Mexican uniforms, but they are not Mexicans. I hide in the hills and watch. Sometimes they're so close I can almost touch them. I do not lie, senor. Wade's guerrillas. You know who they are? Yeah, maybe I do. Come on, Carlos. We gotta find somebody to take care of you. you to Franklin. Hello, Fred. I've got bad news. Do you want to gather the people? Hey! With the general's permission, sir, it's my wife. Go ahead, son. Darling, darling, I'll be dead. Hey, I was a big man of the house. Did you do everything your mother told you? Folks, the Alamo has fallen. <laughs> what about the garrison, Sam? Travis, boy, and... They're all dead. I asked them to hold out as long as they could, and they did. They've given us time to recruit more men. But now, General Santa Ana's army is free to move, and they're sweeping across Texas. Franklin may be next on their list. My troops are just a few miles outside of town. We're going to try to head him off at Gonzales. Meanwhile, there's no time to lose. I want you to evacuate all women and children and men over 60 from Franklin. I'll leave this detachment to accompany the wagon train. This is a black day for Texas. But I can assure you of one thing. No one shall ever forget the Alamo. Get everyone alerted. The wagon train must leave as soon as possible. Good luck to everyone. Good luck to you, sir. I can't believe it. Every single man killed. No, not all of them. Travis gave everybody a chance of leaving. One man took it. A man by the name of John Stroud. Come on, honey.
ma'am, who's the fellow you talked to around here? Gage. He runs the newspaper. The man down there with the one arm. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Gage? Yes. You got a mission school around here, someplace where I can leave a child? I'm afraid you're out of luck, fella. In a little while, there isn't going to be anything left in Franklin. We've got word that Santa Ana's coming this way, and we're pulling out. Where are you headed? To Nacogdoches. Oh. Got anybody on the wagon train? Maybe I can pay to take care of the boy? Him? Yeah, what's wrong with him? Well, he's a Mexican. Or maybe you didn't know we're at war with him. I didn't know we were at war with kids. Why don't you take care of him yourself? That's not fair, Mr. Gage. The gentleman undoubtedly wants to join the army. I'll look after him, Ma. He won't be any trouble, and there'll be no charge. What's your name? Carlos. What are those bells for? For the men in the Alamo. What about the Alamo? It's fallen. Every man in it was killed. Stroud! What are you doing here? I might ask you the same thing. I got orders to be here. Those orders come in mighty handy sometimes, don't they, Lieutenant? Are you the John Stroud that left the Alamo? That's right. Hey, folks! Gather round! Gather round! This here is the man that left the Alamo. My man was there. So was mine. And I can be proud of one thing. He didn't run away. But he had a reason to leave. And I thought you wanted to join the army. Maybe I did. Which one? I'm sure General Santa Ana would be glad to have you. Mr. Gage. One of the great privileges I enjoy is the choice of the people that I talk to. You don't have to carry on a conversation with me. Just answer yes or no. Do you know the names of the families traveling on this wagon train? Yes. Is there a Mapes, K, Billings, and Hawes? No. Thanks. I don't know about the rest of you. But it seems to me that the air around here is getting pretty foul. Look, Carlos, you stay here, huh? Be a good kid. You know, maybe the kid's right. He must have had a reason for leaving. Mister, the way the people in this town feel about that man, you better talk soft if you're trying to defend him. Oh, now, wait, wait a minute, boys. I ain't trying to defend him. I reckon I'm just as good a Texan as any of you. Take him down and lock him up. Senor Stout, that's the man. He was one of them, the men in the Mexican uniforms. Are you sure? You think I forget the man who killed my father? Stroud, you better get out of town. Maybe I like it here. I don't care what you like or don't like. I'm telling you to get out of town. What are we doing? Hold Hold on. Out. We're out of here. Come on. I'm just straight up. Get a roof, Ed. Stand back, everybody. We'll have no lynchings in Franklin. I'll try and get you out here alive, Stroud. Get on your horse and get out of town. I got business here. Get out of town or I'll throw you in jail. Well, that's up to you, Sheriff, and I'm not leaving. You're not only a coward, Stroud. You're a fool. Get on. Get us out of here.
sort of gave you a rough time, didn't it? They did the same to me. Got an awful lot of law in this town. Seems like. My name's Dawes. What's yours? Stroud. So you're the guy who quit the Alamo, huh? From what I heard, there wasn't much use in staying. Man's a fool to buck a game. The cards are stacked against him. I knew a lot of guys who didn't feel that way about it. I ain't walking around either. What are you figuring on doing when you get out of here? Mm. Gonna get myself hung? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, if you don't get hung. Maybe you do what a lot of others are doing. Join the Mexicans. What do you mean by that? I thought you were smart enough to figure that out for yourself. Maybe I can. A lot of good men on the Mexican side. I heard of some. Well, as long as we understand each other, huh? I figure we do. Fine. Well, let's figure a way to get out of this place, huh? That's been done before. How? You'll see. Kate, hurry up. We're almost ready to go. Mr. Cage, you got the money from the vault. Where do you want it? We got a room in here. I'll put it in the wagon. You ready to go? Just about. All right, men, check your equipment. Let's get ready to roll. You know, it sure is a shame we have to leave here so soon. Yep. I'd sure like to be here when they break Stroud out of jail. Yeah, that's one hanging I'd like to see. Hey, maybe that's him now. Who are you expecting? Some friends of mine. Ah, uh, just some kid. Maybe he's a friend of mine. I didn't know you had any. Wagon train is leaving now, senor. Soldiers go with it. You better get back. I'll not leave you. You are my father now, and I'll not leave you. They say after wagon train goes, they will take you out of jail and hang you. Nobody's gonna hang me, boy. Carlos, the wagons are about to leave. I'll not go. But Carlos. I'm your father now. Is that right? Si, senor. Well, a good son always obeys his father. Isn't that true? That is true. All right, then go with the lady. But they will kill you. No, they won't. You're going to obey him, aren't you, Carlos? Please take care. Be good to the boy. You pick up the kid. He's an orphan. And a max. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Maybe that answers something I've been trying to figure out about you and the Mexicans. You said you wanted to get out of here. I don't see any future in Stan. You ever hear of Jess Wade? What about him? He don't like Texans. Well, from what I hear, Texans feel the same way about him. That sort of gives you something in common, don't it? He's paying Franklin a visit as soon as that wagon train and those soldiers get a few miles away. What's that got to do with me? We could always use another man. Maybe Wade won't feel that way about it. Well, you won't have to wait long to find out. How about it? I don't know Texas anything. Hey, count me in.
want somebody to spell you, Ma? You've been beating that team over the road for quite a while now. No thanks, Tom. You go back and help those that need it. Fred and I get along fine. Hi, honey. Hi. How are the kids behaving? I don't know. They're so excited, I'm afraid they're going to be pretty hard to handle. Daddy, are we going to see Indians? Well, I hope not. I want to see Indians. Now, you just mind what your mother tells you. Come on. He'll be all right, Carlos. He won't be all right. They will hang him now. I have left him when he needs me. That was his wish. If I had stayed, I could have told him why he left the Alamo. To help his family and the families of others. The only reason he came to Franklin was to find a place for me. Then he was going back to the Alamo. I heard him say it. Do you believe him? He meant to go back, I swear it. You believe me, Miss Beth. I do not lie. You will tell the others. You will tell him he is not a coward. I'm afraid it's a little late for that. soldier boys. You sure they got dogs in jail? Well, they weren't taking them to church the last I saw them. The next time I send you in a job, stay out of saloons. We only had a couple. A couple of gallons. We'll head for the bank. The rest of them can break doors out. This ain't gonna hold the Mexican army. It'll hold for a while. What do you want to do, run out and leave the town for them? Why not? There ain't nothing left in it. What gets me, while we're fighting Mexicans, that deserter from the Alamo will be sitting nice and snug in jail. Well, then why don't we string him up like we was going to? Uh, hold on, wait a minute. Wait for what? If we're gonna get shot up, he's gonna stretch. What are we waiting for? Let's hang. Let's hang. Hold on, hold on. Hey, Jim! Shoot twice if you see any of them Mexicans. Stop or I'll shoot. Well, I'll go ahead and shoot. <laughs> Like we're gonna have visitors. Hey, maybe it's Wade. No, that's not Wade. Who is it then? It's a lynching party for me. All right, Scrap, we got a nice new necktie for you. Made a pure hand. Come on, come on, get him out of here. side are you on? Yeah. There ain't no go in that oh, bank. We're standing wide open. They clean your place out. All right, get to your horses.
Thanks. Where'd you come from? Town. Why'd you leave? I had a little throat trouble. They were gonna hang him. Why? He quit the Alamo. Is that right? That's right. The Alamo. What were you doing there in the first place? Well, what would you be doing there if the whole Mexican army was there? That wasn't what I asked you. That's the answer you're gonna get. I'll say one thing for you. You got plenty of guts because right now you could be in a lot of trouble. I've been in trouble before. What makes you think I want you up here? You don't like Texans, neither do I. Then answer my first question. What were you doing in the Alamo? I left, didn't I? Why? I heard the Mexicans were given land grants at the end of the war. Yeah, they're given land grants, but I'm the one that decides who gets them. Anybody who works with me will be treated all right. What's your name? Stroud. John Stroud. Cavish, get me some fresh coffee. That must have been some fight the boys put up. I'll bet old James Boy carved up a hundred of them before they got him. Is that right, Stroud? Did old boy fight him with his knife? How about Davy Crockett? Now, there was a man could charm a possum right out of a tree. No. When a possum saw old Davy Crockett looking at him, he just knew that was the end. So instead of waiting to get shot, he just climbed down and dropped dead at Davy's feet. You say Davy Crockett did good? Wait a minute, Stroud. We want to hear more. Won't you tell us why you run out on old Davy Crockett? Maybe he just didn't feel like hanging around getting shot at. I've been thinking. If you quit on them, maybe you quit on us, too. Leave him alone, Cobby. He ain't answered my question yet. I say he's yeller. I believe that gentleman thinks you talk too much. Yeah. Will do. You can help us start chasing the wagon train the first thing in the morning. There wasn't any money in the Franklin Bank. That means it's on the wagon train. keep going through these low hills. It's safer. If we get strung out going through that gorge and somebody happen to jump us, we're in trouble. That's Indian territory, Tom. I know all about Indians. I lost an arm with them. I'd like to keep the one I got left. Well, Fred, those are the chances we got to take. We save a whole day by going through the gorge. That's the way it's got to be. Let's go. Get up. Come on, Mom. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Five men and find yourself a spot on that cliff. Cobby, you and Stroud get up on that crag. 
Keep an eye on him. I'd rather keep a gun on him. You can do that, too. You won't be needing this for a while. What about this Stroud? Do you think he'll work out? I hope so. I can use him. I'll tell you one thing. I'd sure hate to fight him every morning before breakfast. Then what'd you send him off with Cobby for? He's liable to shoot him in the back. He don't like him. That's what I figured. This is Stroud's first raid. If he don't work out, Cobby will take care of him. Tie him up. Get up there as high as you can, and I'll get down on that ledge. Don't get any funny ideas. There's only one way out of here, and that's right by way. What are you stopping for? Honest, Tom, driving a wagon through that gorge is like putting your foot in a bear trap. And I don't think any sensible man would do it. Fred, I've got scouts out there. They haven't reported a thing. Oh, I don't know. I just got a feeling. Well, regardless of your feelings, we're going on ahead. Now, get the horses moving. Yeah. Get up, get up, get up. Hey, Jess, here they come. How far off? Oh, a good half hour. They're all strung out in a nice long line. When they hit this gorge, we can pick them off like ducks. Anything in sight? Not yet. Well, what's holding them up? Want to trade places for a while? You just stay up there where I can keep an eye on you, and we'll get along just fine. What's the matter, Cubby? Don't you trust me? Sure, I trust you. I trust you so much, I'm not going to give your gun back till the shooting starts. Got a couple of friends on that wagon train. What are you getting at? That's why I joined up with you, to help keep them out of trouble. Why, you dirty double-crossing? Go ahead and shoot, Cobby. That wagon train's about a half a mile away. You fire that rifle, you'll have those soldier boys right up here. You're lying. Come on up and see for yourself. I will. Ambush at high peak, just like I told you. George, take the first four men. Head up back into the cliffs. Fight the lady legs if you have to. Yes, sir. You four men, come with me.
find out if you're really yellow. If that's why you left the Alamo. I'll tell you why I left. I had a wife and son at Oxbow. I came back to take care of them. The only trouble is you and your gang got there before me. I think I remember her, Stroud. She had pretty yellow hair, didn't she? Same color as the kids. Too bad she wouldn't listen to reason. Let's go after him. We'll go after him later. Make an opening there. They were Mexican, sir. They cut run when they saw us coming. We picked up one of their horses. You sure it was Mexican? That's one uniform I'm not going to forget, sir. Did you get a close look at it? Not too close, but they were Mexican, sir. Let's take a look at this stuff on the saddle, see if we can find out. Miss Beth, that's in your Stroud's coat. I'm not lying. It is in your Stroud's coat. Look at it. Let's see it. I thought Stroud was in jail in Franklin. So did I. Stroud joining up with the Mexicans don't make sense. Maybe it does. On top of everything else, it looks like I missed a Stroud's turn renegade. No, senor, that's not true. They're not Mexicans. They're just dressed like Mexicans. Hush, Carlos. Well, if it is, Stroud, there's no one I'd rather see left up in those rocks without a horse. But you cannot just leave him. Please, Lieutenant. We'll be camping here until morning. Close to five-man lookout. Yes, sir. Lieutenant. Can I have that? Please. I'm going to find him, Miss Beth. It's impossible, Carlos. When you get lost out there. He's like my father. I must try and find him. No, you'd never be able to. And even if you did, don't you see? He, he's not a good man, Carlos. He's a very good man. But he broke out of jail and joined the Mexicans. I tried to tell you, Miss Beth. They're not Mexicans. They're Americans disguised as Mexicans. And that's even worse. It's best you try and forget. Mm. I'm sorry, Miss Beth. Give me your foot. Thank you very much, ma'am. I promise I'll come back. Where does he think he's going, ma'am? He thinks he's going to find John Stroud. He really believes he's out there. That ain't no place for a kid. Come on, Bob, we'd better tag along. We'll take care of him, ma'am.
Stroud! get the idea to leave this encampment without permission. You'll hear about this later. See, Miss Beth, it was in your shroud. He needs help. Well, he sure came to a mighty poor place for it. Beth, get up from there. What do you want me to do, let him lie here and die? Why not? Save him the trouble of hanging him. How can you talk like that? He was going to attack the wagon train of women and children, wasn't he? What could he expect? You have no proof of that. Then what's he doing in that Mexican outfit? I don't care what he's done. He's a human being and he's going to be treated like one. Have somebody help me get him to the wagon. I'll give you a hand. So will I, with the lieutenant's permission. You're going to let them help him? He was shooting at us just a little while ago. Go ahead. You know something? I think you've lost your grip on ramrodding in this wagon train, Tom. Yes, Beth? Well, you know something about doctoring, Mr. Gage. A little? If you tell me what to Why do Why should for... we do anything for him? Because he's hurt, and you're the only one who can help him. He's also a renegade and a murderer. That's not true. We don't need you, boy. But what you just said about Senor Stroud... I said Stroud. we don't need you. You better wait outside, Carlos. Can you do anything for him? Maybe I can and maybe I can't. I think maybe you can. I think he means it, Mr. Gage. Get some hot water. All right, get him up. Let's go, everyone up. We're moving out in a half hour. Feeling so good when Carlos brought you in last night. Oh, wait, you better take it easy. I think I've got to get up sometime. Might as well be now. I, I will get you some food. You stay there, senor. Hey, thanks. For what? I do it for anyone. Yeah, you know, this isn't going to make you very popular with your friends. I don't care what they think. Maybe I do. Then why don't you tell him the truth? Carlos told me you left the Alamo to take care of your family and the families of your friends. Who'd believe it? I do. You're no coward. Hey, why don't you try telling that to Lieutenant Lamar? You know, he offered to stay at the Alamo in my place. Rod? You'll remain in this wagon. You're under arrest. Yeah. Aren't you going to say something? Aren't you going to try to defend yourself? It was Wade's gang of outlaws you were with. That's right. Why'd you join up with them? As good a way as any, getting out of town. Stroud, you had every intention of joining the attack on this wagon train. I did not. 
You're a very unconvincing liar. Tom, why don't you ask Mr. Stroud who fired the shots that kept us out of that ambush? Well? I fired the first one. You trying to tell me that I'm you... trying to tell you nothing except that you're still in trouble. Wade knows you have the money from the Franklin Bank and he wants it, and if you're not real smart, he's gonna get it. For the sake of these women and children, I hope for once in your life you've got the decency to be telling the truth. From now on, I'm gonna keep this wagon train out in the open. Beth. All right, everybody finish your chow as fast as you can. Let's get this wagon train rolling. What do you intend doing now? I don't have very much choice. I'm still under arrest. I wouldn't be looking if you happened to fall out of the back end of the wagon. Oh, thanks very much. I'll play it along the way I am. There's not much future in it. Oh, yes, there is. What? Just Wade. You really think you'll attack us? Well, if we keep on going this way, if I were running this outfit, I'd head south. I'd cross the river further on down. Why did you join up with me? He's the man that killed my wife and son. That's why you want to stay with us. Now, he's going to be real surprised when he sees me. He thinks I'm dead. Why didn't you tell Lieutenant Lamar that? Uh, you heard what the lieutenant said. I'm a very poor liar. But you aren't lying. Maybe I am. I left the Alamo. That's pretty hard to justify, even to myself. Your family was in danger. So are the families of a hundred other men. I guess mine was any more important than theirs. Are you condemning yourself? Yeah, I'd condemn another man who did the same thing. I'm no different. It's done now. Regretting it won't undo it. I know. That's what's bad about it. Other men have made mistakes. Not like mine. What good would it have done if you had stayed? What good did it do that I left? I didn't help my family. I didn't help anybody. Well, that's something Lieutenant Lamar could understand. He has a family. Sure, he'd understand it. Only if it happened to him. Look, Miss Beth, you'll only stir up a lot of antagonism if you stick with me. Why don't you switch to another wagon? Huh? Why don't we go after him? In open country? What do you want to do, get shot? All I want to do is get my hands on some of that money. Well, heading the way they are, they'll cross the Trinidad River at Cutner's Point. We'll be there waiting for them. Sure. When they get the wagons out into the river, we'll pick them off in the water. That sounds easy. I'm a man that likes things easy. You follow along after them and keep an eye on them. If there's any change in plans, we'll be at Cutner's Point. Let's go. Sergeant McCauley, sir. Army of the Republic. Orders from General Houston, sir. Well, what is it, darling? Orders. To report to San Jacinto at once. Everybody? Myself and this detachment of soldiers. Well, what about us? Well, the word is, ma'am, that General Houston's ready for an all-out attack against Santa Ana's army at San Jacinto. Troops can no longer be spared for the protection of a wagon train. Is that so? Well, you go back and tell Sam Houston... Well, what are soldiers for if not to protect their families? As a soldier, ma'am, I can't question the command. Sergeant? My previous orders were to see these wagons safely across the Trinidad River. That's what I intend to do. If I could have a fresh horse, sir. 
I'll start back at once with the men. Soldiers are staying with me. If you want to remain, sir, it'll be on your own conscience. But I don't think you can ask 20 of your men to do the same. And why not? I'm in command here, Sergeant. I'm afraid that'd be called desertion, sir. Desertion? Your orders are to report to San Jacinto at once, sir. I'll go when these wagons are across the Trinidad River. I'll tell that to General Houston, sir. Sergeant, if we leave now, these people would be defenseless. There are no able-bodied men here. Only women, children, and elders. I'm still here. How would you classify me? As a deserter, Mr. Straub. Oh. Kind of looks like there's going to be quite a lot of us, doesn't it, Lieutenant? These people need protection. My family needed protection. They're apt to be murdered if we leave here. My family was murdered. I'm not only trying to protect my family, I'm trying to protect others as well. Look, if you'd bothered to ask, you'd have found out that's why I left the Alamo. I was trying to do the same thing. Stroud, from what you're saying, I, I can't figure out what side you're on. You have your orders, Lieutenant. If I were you, I'd obey them. Go ahead, darling. We'll be all right. What do you intend to do? I intend to take these wagons through. Get my horse. All right, men, check your equipment. We're leaving for San Jacinto right away. Mr. Stroud, good luck. Thanks, we're gonna need it. Do you mind shaking hands? Take care of him, will you, for me, Fred? Quiet down. Lieutenant, I'd like to have ten of your rifles. All right, you first ten men, bring your rifles up here. Now, oh, Mr. Stroud. Get these wagons in two lines of four each. If we run into any trouble, I don't want to spread out all over the country. It's going to be kind of rough from now on, ma'am. We're going to ride without a break. No, somebody must have figured we'd be waiting for them. They took out southeast towards Boulder. That's a long haul from here. We can still make it in plenty of time. The soldiers left them. What do you mean? Just what I'm telling you. The whole military detachment took off. Figure they're trying to lay some kind of a trap? No, I watched them long enough to make sure. They ain't coming back. Let's go.
and get those children down behind that bank. Come on, These come women know how to shoot a gun. They don't know how I can All right, come on, let's go. Give me the gun. How can I shoot without a... Get out. For sure, I knew he was leading us into a trap. Keep quiet and help. the men and go at them from the front. Hey, Gage. Grab yourself a horse and a couple of pistols and follow me. You want me to go with you? You can shoot, can't you? Mr. Stroud, I can shoot real good. Well, let's go then. Now remember, don't shoot till you're sure we can get one. Wade'll try to come around this side of the lake, behind the wagons. Ah, get out of here!
everybody all right? Yes, thanks to you, Mr. Stroud. Well, you haven't got far to go now. Carlos, I'll be back for you just as soon as I can, sir. I'm heading for San Jacinto. All right, Mr. Gage, let's get these wagons rolling. You heard what the man said. Right. Let's get these wagons rolling. You'll come back, Miss Beth. I hope so, Carlos. So do I. For both of us. <laughs>